Hi. Many years ago, I used to produce a television show called This and That. And for the 30th anniversary of Kikaida in Hawaii, we were allowed to do a special on Kikaida. And what you're about to watch is the episode in its entirety. Um, Kikaida was a big deal in Hawaii. It still is. Uh, it's been in Hawaii 40 plus years now. If you don't know anything about this character, or just intrigued by the design, watch this episode. And if you want to know more about it, you can go to generationkikaida.com. I'll have the link below and you can get the episodes. So I hope you enjoy this and aloha. is intended for mature audiences. Hello, Bonsan. Hi, hi, nice hi. to meet you. Nice hi. to meet you. Thank you so much for meeting hi. with me today. First off, for people who might not know of Kikaida, can you tell me a little bit of your character that you play on Kikaida and who Kikaida is or what Kikaida is? Uh, Kikaida is you know, a mask. このマスクがあるようにやっぱりあのなんていうのかなカラフルなデザインで非常にこう親しみの持てるあのインパクトが強いキャラクターだとそういうのを思ってます。It's it, such an honor because um it's like you're my childhood hero when I was young watching you and to be in front of you is such an honor for me. Thank you. <laughs> Did you have a lot of fun doing uh, Kikaida? Was it really, really fun? When, when I was young, um, when I used to watch Kikaida, the thing that always stuck up was the get up. Like, um, they scared you, give me nightmares. I used to be scared. I used to wake up in the middle of the night, like, get up, get up, get up, get up, and, and just uh -huh. afraid of them <laughs> and, and stuff like that. That's what I, I remember of them. That, And I always was happy when you came in, um, in and, and beat them up. <laughs> <laughs> Prior to playing Kikaida, did you have any martial arts training? 
そうねトレーニングはやっぱりまず入る前にあのアクションのアクションレッスンいや、yeah. <笑><笑><笑>大変だったけども、まあ、とりあえずアクションレッスンをやってそれからあ映画の方に撮影の方に入ったとそういう記憶があります When you change into Kikaida on the show is that you in the costume or is there someone else doing the fighting? あの芝居の方は自分が入ってでアクションになるとやっぱりあのスタントマンスタントマンがあのやるとそうしないとあの撮影の時間がなかなかねこう短縮できないんでまあそういうことです When you did the show back in the 70s did you even imagine or think that it was going to have the success it has and 30 years later you'd still have a fan base? いや全然もう想像してなかったですね What do you think is the secret、uh, to Kikaida's long running success? やっぱりこのキャラクターデザインアンドサイドマシーン、うん、<笑><笑><笑><笑>アンキカイダストーリーラブロマンスアクションアンドなんていうのかなとにかく作品的なね全体的なバランスの良さっていうか質が高いあの素晴らしいあのヒーロー作品だと。What was your favorite monster on the show? What was your favorite monster in the series? <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, first of all, the story of the Grey Cycling is the most important thing in the show. Is there a certain memory or experience from the show that you like to share with us or, or that you can remember? Well, it's just that, of course, it's a まあ、あのいろんな思い出あるけどもやっぱりあのはいあの一番高いところから出てくるんでギター弾いてねそれが一番自分じゃちょっと印象にあるのかなそういうことは。Is there anything that、uh, Kikaida fans can look forward to in the future? うーんまあ Kikaida はいずれにしてもあのオールド・オブ・ザ・ワールドでそれこそ世界中を駆け巡るというのはねまず。あのハワイを拠点に行くんじゃないかなっていう感じがしますそれとまあハワイに限ってはあの今年また秋にあの30周年のイベントをやるんであの、まあ、それを楽しみにしてくださいと、うん、ありがとうございます皆さんもよろしくお願いします Cars, but I used to watch him every time in a young kid time, cars. Huh, but I love that show, b r o Cause he do the mantis, then he do like the bulldog, b r o He get the cream, but he get any kind, but making any kind, he get the bad guys licking, like that, b r o Us guys used to give all the bad guys licking, b r o Oh, but it was good, but it was on good show. Because, you know, like, because I had Japanese neighbors there,、eh? but Jeffrey and John John, but, and then they could have one hero. Because us guys, but we had t u k a n a m o k u but we had Don Ho, but we had Kui Lee, we had those heroes. Cause, and my Japanese neighbors never had nothing, because, but until Kikaira came along, but then they started making the mantis, but they started doing the cream, but they, they was doing the, they was doing the leapfrog, the quick boo. But they had, they had all the moves, cars. But before you know it, cars, they start getting carried away in the front yard. Jeffrey gonna take the log cabin syrup, b r o He's pouring on top of John John, but he t a k e the shampoo, he throw him in his eye, but he, he start shooting him with a wall of hose, b r o But John John was on the g r a n d b r o He was crying, b r o He was all traumatized, cars. As all this stuff started happening to him, b r o So he didn't call upon the power of Kikaira. 
about the coolest thing I'm on Kikai about was like, brother never had real eyes. Eh? So, brother kind of look spooky like that. So, us guys, we try for like an in, in, impersonator, man. So, us guys, we used, to, we used to go take that kind of aluminum can like that. We used to cut like holes inside, but we used to put them by our eye like that. We used to look like that. But we say be like Kikai like that. But Morris, but he, you know, he had the guitar like that. All us guys didn't go get guitar, but we learned how to play guitar. I think that's how we, we learn how to play guitar, bro. It's because keep tied up. Like, be, before you even do the change thing, like, you know, one, two, three, like that. It's changing, bro. But by using guitar, play on guys just like us, guys. But we tell them, bro, mahalo. Because my Japanese neighbors had heroes when they was young, not only us. What about Kikaida, when everybody else did, when it became a phenomenon, which is about 30 years ago, and I was led to it, of course, by my kid, who was about three at the time, and it was a big deal in our house. So dad and son working together as a team, watching all, and of course that led to all the other ones too, Zeta One and Diamond Dai and Ultraman and Kamen Rider V3 and all of them. I am... I am probably Hawaii's number one Kikaida fan. Kikaida was great. I mean, it was Power Rangers, forget it. Kikaida was the original, the best, and, and still the coolest. Uh, even though was, the latex is, uh, you know, looks pretty tacky these days, 30 years later. But back then, that was really good action stuff. And the kids would get involved, and even the parents would get involved, which is strange. Kikaida here is generational. It's, it's, it's part of the landscape for the past 30 years for, for several generations. I liked it because my kid brought me to it. He was three at the time. Couldn't get him to sleep at night except by doing a giant swing throw into the bed. That became the way to get the kid into bed with a giant swing throw. Thank you, Kikaida. And uh, now that worked with my grandson, by the way. Oh yeah, Kikaida was, was the best. Here was this brooding guy with the guitar who would play his guitar on a hillside and think about right and wrong and good and evil and uh, good always won. And I mean, there was, a, there was a wonderful message in each one of them. Obviously, positive, very positive. For a guy who's mechanical, it's not bad. Well, he kind of was the archetypal superhero. He really was. For, for 30, I mean, you have to put everything in, in, in perspective. 30 years ago, that was as good as it got. They were way ahead of the curve, as a matter of fact, 30 years ago. Now, I'm sorry, everything's better, fancier, but when you get right down to it, the basics, Kikaida was good versus evil and good one. It's a perfect story. There's only one quarry that ever was the, the scene for the fighting, right? And there was always this quarry, this dusty road, and the, the motorcycle, and he'd stand on a hill and play the guitar and all this. That one quarry, I'm sure they can find a better set, okay, if they did it again. But yeah, it would be, uh, it would be outstanding right now if they could use modern techniques and bring back the old feeling with Kikaida. Oh, sure. People on the mainland have no idea what you're talking about when you say Kikaida, okay? It really is a Hawaii phenomenon. Hawaii and Japan and probably a little bit the rest of Asia. But in Hawaii, it is, it is a cultural phenomenon. It is a part of our last uh, three generations. Literally, three generations. So yeah, ev everybody should know about it just to find out what everybody's talking about when they talk about these guys and Suichi on one, two, three. You guys are bomb. <laughs> Absolutely fantastic. You're a part of my life. Denru hibanaga karada hashiru jiro chenji kikaida a.
da robot mukueute jinzu ningen kikai da. Does it get any worse than that? <laughs> <laughs>、hey, hey, what's up, Allison? Look, I got my、uh, Kikaida Brothers shirt. Zero one and Kikaida is cool. Kikaida is good, but look at my Bajinda shirt. Look at her. She's all cool. She's all mean and stuff, you know. But she's got the hearts. But she's really tough. She's like a tough chick, robot chick, you know. You know Bajinda is a butterfly. How can you tell by hearts? Well, see, you don't know her. She looks all nice and hearts and like happy, like a pretty little girl. But she's really tough and evil, and she's gonna kick your butt, man. She's gonna kick your butt. Look,、no. these guys are ready for action. You know what I mean? They like, like. Yours is like. Look, I'm scared. Kikaida is coming. Monsters are cheesy, but there are some cool things about it. There's this guy. He rides a motorcycle. He plays a guitar, and the music he plays is kind of freaky but cool. And he's kind of cute too. On that show, yes. April third, two thousand two, was Kikaida Day, and it's only for that day only. Kikaida Day should be every day. Kikaida Day is the、uh, is the state's way of uh, uh, honoring Kikaida for coming back after thirty years. And you know, when Kikaida was here,、uh, they were a tremendous hit, especially with the young people. The fact that they're coming, they're, they're coming back now, so it's a great for Hawaii. It's part of our history, really. You know, I mean, there are many things that uh, that uh, affect Hawaii, and、uh, Kikaida was the only other program I can think of that affected、uh, Hawaii in the way Kikaida did was Hawaii Five-O and Magnum. You know,、uh, it's, that's where it is. Well, I would say to them, come back to Hawaii. This is where you really hit it big, and、uh, I think you're going to find a.、Uh, Terrific market over here for the Kikaida story reborn. Tell me who's your favorite superhero? Yours might be Clark Kent, but mine is Jiro. Tell me who's your favorite superhero? Yours might be Peter Parker, but mine is Jiro. I used to tune in, sit up close and zoom in. Every day after school, when I was just a student, yo forget cartoon men, they got capes tied to masks. I'd rather check out Kikaida, chill out and kick some woo. Double chop and drop, stick and kick and flip and fly. Block a shot and twist around, land on two feet and hit your eye. He calmly strap his guitar to his back and then he jump on his motorcycle, but he'll be back again, y'all. Tell me who's your favorite superhero? Yours might be Clark Kent, but mine is Jiro. Tell me who's your favorite superhero? Yours might be Peter Parker, but mine is Jiro. Tell me who's your favorite superhero? Yours might.
be Clarkin, but mine is Jiro. Tell me who's your favorite superhero? Yours might be Peter Parker, but mine is Jiro. When switch on, it's on. Move is on to transform. He got a glitch on, his microchips worn. The flute hurts when it plays, his eyes glow like laser rays. Martial arts in major ways as dark fades away. You can't stop his mission to find his father, put his chip in. Surround him, get ready for that licking. Go ahead, y'all can keep your Superman. Kikaida, that's my superhero. The end! Tell me who's your favorite superhero? Yours might be Clark Kent, but mine is Jiro. Tell me who's your favorite superhero? Yours might be Peter Parker, but mine is Jiro. Tell me who's your favorite superhero? Yours might be Clark Kent, but mine is Jiro. Tell me who's your favorite superhero? Yours might be Peter Parker, but mine is Jiro. Promotional consideration for Disney Nets provided by Volksterman, Hawaii's number one Volkswagen Audi service and repair shop. Located on Ward and Ilangu Y Street. Volksterman, keeping the drivers driving. Kali Imo is Voice Master Singing School at 847-3222. Hawaii's choice for voice. Hawaiian Island Twisters, located on Kahuhipa and Kaneohe. Get in the gym. 24-7 Dance Floor Studios, located on the ground floor of Windward Mall next to Sears. Wardrobe for the cast of Disney Nets is provided by Faith Riding Company and Ezekiel Clothing.